Welcome to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's Ryan. And Bree. And on this video, we're gonna give you some highlights of our family's one week vacation at Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. The goal of this video is to just give you an overview. We'll be going into a lot of these places in more details in other videos. Our adventure started out at the Florence Bucky's. It was pretty crowded. It was a Saturday afternoon. Bree actually had to wait with the girls for the restroom. And that Bucky's is actually looking kind of small compared to our Sevierville one now. So we worked our way down the road and saw pirates sign after pirate sign after pirate sign, which was kind of exciting because that's where we're gonna be going in this video. We'll show you some highlights. And we finally made it to where we were staying, which is gonna be on the north side of Myrtle Beach. Ladies there and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, we have arrived to the ocean. Where are we going? To the beach. the beach. Where are we going? To, to the, the beach. beach. That's for Dory and Flora. Micah was so excited to be at the beach. He'd been looking forward to this. Unfortunately, our room was not what we expected. So we did have some dinner on the beach and made the best we could of it for the night. You can actually see the view from our room was great. The room itself just wasn't that great we did get you, you know. some coffee the next morning that made me happy coffee makes everything better so we booked a last minute reservation at a new airbnb and made the best of the day going over to the aquarium this was a really nice aquarium we really enjoyed it we were able to get a tour with one of the guides there and we'll go ahead and do another video showing you that in-depth tour as we went to their new sloth valley that recently opened and actually got to see the sloth being fed and Hannah got to pick up her own sloth to take back home to Tennessee. We had a really great time checking out the aquarium, got to see the mermaids perform and Bree and Hannah got to go on a glass bottom boat. You got a uh, life jacket that was a little small on you. <laughs> I think they gave me a kid size, but hey, it works. Yeah, so we'll show you what the glass bottom boat adventure is like on an upcoming video. From there, we went over and grabbed some lunch at Wall Burgers. What did you think? I thought it was delicious. The burgers and fries were excellent. The mac and cheese could use a little bit more flavor, but it was overall a good meal. But this was the one thing our girls wanted to do is head over to Ron John and do some shopping. And shop till they dropped is exactly what we did. Lots of time over at Broadway at the Beach. We let the kids each pick out a shirt. It was fun exploring Broadway at the beach and seeing all the things that we have in Pigeon Forge. We do not have a Quickie Mart, so we're excited to come in here and check out their squishies. And here is what Micah thought of getting a squishy. The best slushie I've ever had. You got Itchy Berry Blast. All right, I'll try it out. Ooh, that is pretty good. Mmm, I like that. It's good squishy. Hannah's getting some uh, super sour lemonade and oh. some Moe's orange cream. How's Moe's orange cream? That's good. So the kids enjoyed grabbing a squishy at the Quickie Mart. We checked out their Duff beverages, their heat lamp dogs. They have some Buzz Cola, some coffee, and all sorts of different things, including some giant donuts. We grabbed one of the small ones to bring back with us to our Airbnb. And we were finally able to check in. Bree was so excited. Yes, it was very nice to be in a new place with lots of room that was clean. This was the girls' room right here. They had a TV. We were super happy to grab this Airbnb last minute. You can see the kids had their own bathroom. And you can see the living room here. We had a table to sit down. We also had a washer and dryer now. Plenty of room. Micah got to hang out here a lot. You can see our bedroom right here. We had a nice king size bed, which is always very nice, and our own bathroom. So once we got settled in unpacking, we have a short walk from our Airbnb right down this pathway to the beach. And we finally felt like we could relax now that we were in our place that we were gonna stay for the entire week. Micah and the kids were so excited to head out to the water. I think he's got his boogie board upside down. I think we cor <laughs> corrected that. Hannah was getting some shells, even upside down, he was still catching some waves <laughs> and having a great time. This is what we've probably spent the most time doing, just sitting on the beach with our body boards. And that was our very, our, I should say our second night at Myrtle Beach as the sun set. 
So the next morning, we woke up and headed straight for the beach. We put our toes in the sand, we built sand castles, the kids boogie boarded out on the waves. We just had a nice day enjoying the soft sand and the beautiful ocean. Micah's one request is, I want to be buried in the sand, so he got to do that and built some sand castles. We had some time to do that. We went under the pier, which was great because there was plenty of water to make some drip castles. And we worked up an appetite as for dinner, we headed that night to Hook and Barrel. I saw this as the number two rated TripAdvisor restaurant for Myrtle Beach. So we wanted to try this out. We got some bomber shrimp or bang bang shrimp as they call it at some restaurants and these bacon hanging on this jellyfish, which was fun to try. These salads were really good. Yep, this was your classic wedge, but it had everything good on it. And of course, the braised beef, which melted in your mouth. And that was a fantastic dinner. And that wrapped up that particular day. It was a great day on Myrtle Beach. On to the next morning, we woke up and headed over to Ocean Boulevard to head over to Ripley's Crazy Golf, which is what we wanted to try out along with their Illusion Lab. Hannah said, I think my skin is about the same color as this ball. <laughs> this was my favorite hole right here. They actually have a zip line hole. Micah has just popped out. And then Hannah went, she got it. It popped out, but went right back in for a hole in one for Hannah. And Micah on the very last hole got it a hole in one and actually won a prize. We'll show you what he won on that video where we cover the crazy golf and these other Ripley's attractions in Myrtle Beach. From there, we headed on over to Barefoot Landing to do some more shopping and of course, go to the other Ron John shop to shop till we drop. So the girls really liked the first Ron John. So we wanted to see what this one was like. Very similar to the one at Broadway at the beach, but lots to do at Barefoot Landing for all ages. So we'll show you a full tour of Barefoot Landing soon. Once we got back to our Airbnb, we went back to the beach. And this was probably one of our favorite nights. It was just really beautiful out, not crowded at all. The kids were playing in the ocean. As Micah just threw some sand at his sister, I saw that. <laughs> Kicking her with water. <laughs> but they were having a great time digging, splashing, and just enjoying the beach together as a family. And we saw the super moon coming up. It was fantastic. These videos really don't do it justice. It was just beautiful. We did capture this one picture of Hannah holding the super moon. And that wrapped up this particular night at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The next day we got up and headed back to the beach. This is where our Airbnb was and we actually were able to just come right over here to this beautiful little walk, come down this walkway and go right out to the beach. We really enjoyed how short of a walk it was right from our front door to the beach and got to spend lots of time as a family just enjoying the sun and the surf. Trying to find some shark's teeth we did find a little bit on the north side of the beach. Micah was super proud of this hole that he dug. And so we spent some time over here by the Apache Pier and it was dinner time. So it was time to go on a voyage, a pirate's voyage as Hannah joined the crew and became a mermaid. We're gonna break this down in our upcoming video telling you how much this experience cost and give you some tips about the Pirate's Voyage, which had lots of sword fighting, and it was a really fun show. We'll show you all the food and food options, whether you're vegan or vegetarian, and we really enjoyed this. Since we did the early show, we had time afterward and we headed on over to Mount Atlanticus Mini Golf where you can actually win a lifetime of free golf if you make this putt. Not even close for me. I was absolutely terrible, but Hannah actually was the best and made it past the fence. 
and oh, it rolled off, but this was a fun golf course. We headed back to our Airbnb. Everyone decided to rest back at our Airbnb, but Hannah did want to come with me. It was fun to just walk along, watch people fish. It was a nice, cool evening with the sun down and enjoyed our time out on the pier. It was the next morning we wanted to try to find some better shark teeth. So we paid $20 for two hours of parking over by the sky wheel, cause I heard that you could actually get better shark's teeth near the sky wheel. So we spent some time looking and actually found our largest shark tooth that we found the entire trip. Worked up an appetite and it was time to go get some brunch. We checked out this place called Drift. A coastal eatery had a really good waffle and pancakes. We also tried some shrimp and grits as well as some fish and chips. Yeah, the fish and chips were our favorite thing at this restaurant. We'll show you exactly where it's located and go into more details on a future video. We wanted to spend some time at our Airbnb playing some volleyball and then we went back to the beach and just spent time doing a lot of nothing. <laughs> Which was wonderful. <laughs> so you can see Hannah here working on catching some waves. And oh, there you go, she's got a good one there. So we had a great time on this particular day at the beach, including some pool time. There was a little bit of rain and uh, kind of scared everybody off. So we had the pool all to ourselves at one point, which was really nice as that wrapped up this particular day. The next morning while everyone was resting, I decided to go for a walk on the Apache Pier, which is the East Coast longest wooden pier. And in addition to taking a walk on this pier, I also ended up running into some foxes on the beach. They were playing in the sand dunes. It's always so neat to see God's creation firsthand as they're over here wrestling. So I've never seen foxes on a beach. This was the highlight of my morning. And on our last day at Myrtle Beach, we started off at King Kong Sushi, which was delicious. We got a great deal, tons of food for a great price. The kids wanted to get another squishy, so of course we went and did that. And then we headed on over to Captain Hook's Mini Golf. This was a really fun course. The theming made me feel like I was about to step on Peter Pan's flight at the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. So we'll show you all the surprises that this course has on an upcoming video. Even us getting rained on and we still played it through and were able to have a good time as a family at this mini golf course. So after we dried off and got some fresh clothes on, we headed out to our seafood buffet at Captain George's. This place is amazing. Look at these ships. These are so beautiful. And these crab legs, oh, delicious. So we'll tell you what Hannah thinks of crab as she tries it for the very first time on our upcoming video. Spoiler alert, I definitely like the crab and we got to enjoy Broadway at the Beaches fireworks before we headed home. That wraps up our week-long vacation overview at Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'll be dropping more videos like the Hook and Barrel restaurant or Captain George's and the Pirate's Voyage. So be on the lookout for those. Or if you're watching this after they're out, check out our Myrtle Beach playlist. Thanks so much for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.